Hey, hi everyone, welcome back to Tomography Series 1. In this video I will discuss about CT cisternography. In this I will include all the key factors, like indication, patient preparation, patient position and instructions, scan parameters, contrast media, filming, CD and DVD, packs and archive system, and, radiation safety and protection. So let's get in. Indication. Detect and localize active CSF leaks through the skull base. CSF rhinorrhea or CSF otorrhea. Evaluate intracranial arachnoid cysts for communication with surrounding subarachnoid space. Plan neurosurgery or radiotherapy, especially when MRI is not possible. Patient preparation. Always take signed informed consent. NBM status required. Patient should be 6 hours fasting, before the procedure. Adequate hydration is to be advised. Patient can have water or clear juice. Check serum creatinine level. Normal range is between 0.6 to 1.2. Check creatinine clearance. Renal insufficiency guideline is as below. Renal function, normal, GFR above 90. Mild, 60 to 90. Moderate, 30 to 60. Severe below 30. Check beta 2 transfer in report. Any medication allergies allergic to x-ray contrast, iodine. Female patient with childbearing age please ensure LMP and confirm non-pregnant status. Remove metal objects including jewelry, eyeglasses, hairpins and nose ring. Remove hearing aids and remove dentures. Take special care with details from elderly, handicapped, deaf, blind, very young, individuals with poor language problem etc. Ask any previous reports or films for comparison. Pre-scan procedure, lumbar puncture, LP. Lumbar puncture has to be performed under fluoroscopy guided. CSF samples has to be collected. 10 ml of non-ionic low osmolar contrast agent has to be slowly injected into the thecal sac under intermittent fluoroscopy. Put pledgets into both nostrils and ears. Keep the patient in the head low position, 20 minutes in leakage side decubitus position, followed by 20 minutes in prone. Patient positioning and instruction. Orientation, head first prone. Patient should be straight. Chin should be down in flex position. Patient's forehead should be touched to the tabletop, but remember nose should not be pressed. Center the table height such that, the external auditory meatus EAM, is at the center of the gantry. Instruction Before starting the scan, explain whole procedure to the patient, so they can understand what they has to do during the scan. Patient head should be stable, so ask the patient to do not move head during the scan. Scan parameters Topogram, AP and lateral Coverage, from frontal sinus to maxillary sinus Scan phase, plane scan, contrast scan, pledget scan KV, 120 MAS, 230 Scan mode, helical Collimation, 0.6 mm Slice thickness, 0.6 mm Slice interval, 0.3 mm. Pitch, 0.8. Rotation time, 1.0 second. Scan direction, craniocaudal. Scan delay, 2 second. Recons. Recons for plane scan. Recon 1. 3 by 3 mm axial soft for filming. Recon 2. 3 by 3 mm axial bone for filming. Recon 3. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial soft for 3D. Recon 4. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial bone for 3D. Recons for contrast scan. Recon 1. 3 by 3 mm axial soft for filming. Recon 2. 3 by 3 mm axial bone for filming. Recon 3. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial soft for 3D. Recon 4. 
0.6 by 0.3 mm axial bone for 3D. Recons for Pledget Scan. Recon 1. 3 by 3 mm axial soft for filming. Recon 2. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial soft for 3D. Image kernel, H30 medium smooth for soft tissue, H60 sharp for bone. Image window, sinuses for soft tissue and bone window. Filming. Film 1. Plain view, plain coronal soft. Slice interval, 0.6 by 3 mm. Window level. Soft tissue. Window width 200. And window level 50. Film format. 5 into 7, 35 images, 1 film. Film 2. Plain view, plain coronal bone. Slice interval, 0.6 by 3 mm. Window level. Bone window. Window width 2000. And window level 400. Film format. 5 into 7, 35 images, 1 film. Film 3. Plain view, contrast coronal mid window. Slice interval, 0.6 by 3 mm. Window level. Bone window. Window width 1100. And window level 200. Film format. 5 into 7, 35 images, 2 film. Paper print, 1. Plain view, Pledget's coronal scan. Slice interval, 3 by 3 mm. Window level. Bone window. Window width 2000. And window level 400. Pepper print format. 2 into 2, 4 images. Data for PACS and archive system. 3 by 3 mm axial soft plane. 3 by 3 mm axial bone plane. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial soft plane. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial bone plane. 3 by 3 mm coronal soft plane. 3 by 3 mm coronal bone plane. 3 by 3 mm axial soft contrast. 3 by 3 mm axial bone contrast. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial soft contrast. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial bone contrast. 3 by 3 mm coronal soft contrast. 3 by 3 mm coronal bone contrast. 3 by 3 mm axial soft pledget scan. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial soft pledget scan. And patient protocol. Data for CD and DVD. For CD you can give thick data. 3 by 3 mm axial soft plane. 3 by 3 mm axial bone plane. 3 by 3 mm coronal soft plane. 3 by 3 mm coronal bone plane. 3 by 3 mm axial soft contrast. 3 by 3 mm axial bone contrast. 3 by 3 mm coronal soft contrast. 3 by 3 mm coronal bone contrast. 3 by 3 mm axial soft pledget scan. And patient protocol. For DVD you can give both thick and thin data. 3 by 3 mm axial soft plane. 3 by 3 mm axial bone plane. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial soft plane. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial bone plane. 3 by 3 mm coronal soft plane. 3 by 3 mm coronal bone plane. 3 by 3 mm axial soft contrast. 3 by 3 mm axial bone contrast. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial soft contrast. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial bone contrast. 3 by 3 mm coronal soft contrast. 3 by 3 mm coronal bone contrast. 3 by 3 mm axial soft pledget scan. 0.6 by 0.3 mm axial soft pledget scan and patient protocol. Radiation safety and protection. Always follow ALARA principle. As low as reasonably achievable. Avoid repeat scan. 
always check pregnancy status in female patient. If needed take a consent. Always used radiation protection accessories like, lead apron, thyroid shield, gonad shield, etc. It is ideal to use two lead aprons, front and back of the patient, for radiation protection. Strictly follow radiation safety protocol, especially in pediatric patients. Thank you.